Welcome back to my channel. I hope you have all been well. So today I'm bringing you this tutorial. It's a really heavy smoky eye, but I stuck to all like warm peachy tones. I know it's like a classic warm look that everyone does, but hopefully I made it dramatic enough and glowy enough to be something different. So yeah, let's just jump into this look. I hope you guys enjoy it. Thank you so much for watching and let's get started. So today I'm going to be using my Violet Voss Holy Grail palette and I'm going in with a Sigma E35 and that orange shade hashtag. To blow out this look, I'm first putting this all over my crease. As I get down to little to no product on my brush, then I'm going to start making these little circles and blending it up and out towards my brow. So we just want this to be really smoked out. So I'm just gonna go back and forth, layer up the color in the crease and then slowly blend it out. Next, I'm going in with the Wine and Dine. It's a really fierce red, and I'm going to put that in my crease. For this, I'm using a MAC 217. It's a lot more tapered, so you really kind of insert the color where you want it. It's not so much as to blend out. I'm going to put it in the crease, and I wasn't sure what I was doing at this point, so I kind of also brought it onto the lid, but you're just gonna wanna make sure this is saturated all the way up into that orange shade, and then just blend out back and forth. I'm also adding a little bit more orange right on top of that red to get the color back. Next, I'm going in with Glamping. That's a weird name. And I'm taking it on a MAC 242 and I'm putting this all over the lid. This shade is interesting because it's glittery, but it's still also kind of matte at the same time. So yeah, I applied it with a 242. I'm just gonna get it as really dark as possible and blend it out into the crease just a little bit. The most important part of the smoky eye is having no transition, so I'm going in with my 217 again and going right over that crease again with the red shade to just smooth everything out and kind of create it as like a natural ombre. For my lower lash line, I'm going to take the deepest, darkest brown in the palette and I'm just going to smudge that as close to my lower lashes as possible. So what we did on top, we're now doing in reverse. So I do the darkest shadow closest to my lashes and now I'm going back in with the wine and dine color. And then I'm going to blend out the wine and dine wine-ish color with a little bit of orange. So I am taking orange and putting it on a smaller brush and then just blending out that red color. You can go as low or not as low as you want. I personally wanted to make this look pretty dramatic so I'm taking the orange shade from the corner of my eye all the way out and all the way back in. To make sure we have no lines and everything's as seamless as possible, I'm just going to take a blending brush with no additional product and then just blend all our ombre-ness. I'm also getting my lower lash line a little bit more intense and I'm layering up that deep brown color. I'm going to draw a cat eye. Not a lot of people like cat eyes with a really intense smoky eye. They feel like if you're doing a really intense smoky eye, why would you elongate your eye with a cat eye? But to me, the black for the cat eye just really grounds the smoky eye and kind of makes it look intentional and not like you just got punched in the face. I'm going to tight line with the best black eyeliner of all time. This is Ardency In Gel Liner in Black. And then I'm going to coat my lashes with a lot of mascara. I'm going to highlight my inner corner with MAC Nylon because I don't use anything else. For my face, I'm going in with NYX Blush in Taupe and my NARS Eater Brush. And what I'm doing right now is just contouring the hollow spots of my face and creating natural shadows. So I'm putting it on my cheekbones and then I'm going to bring it up into my forehead. I'm not going to be too particular with this part because I do this in every makeup look that I do. So we're going to run through it. I'm going to blend out the harshness and that gray shade with a little bit more of a warm bronzer. This is a Makeup Forever Matte Bronze in 2. It's perfect for my pale pasty skin. To highlight today, I'm dipping into Forever Lit from the Anastasia and Nicole Guerrero palette. It is so beautiful. I love icy white shades like this, mostly in this time of the year because I am as fair as I will ever be and these shades are just like life to me. I'm going to highlight my cheeks and put a little bit above the arch of my eyebrow. 
For blush, I'm going in with my new favorite. This is Wet n Wild Pearlescent Pink, and I just love it over white highlights. It's like a pinky peach color with some glitter. It's so beautiful. For my nude lip, I'm going to first start with NARS Lip Liner in Tonga. It's just a kind of like your lips but better shade. And then I'm going to go in with MAC Lipstick in Honey Love, which is my all-time favorite nude lipstick. I'm going to top that off with Bare Minerals Groovy Lip Gloss. And that really completes my look, you guys. I need a setting spray so bad. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye! We're just gonna get it out of the way because you guys have seen me talk about it on Snapchat. Of course I had to. Of course, you know me, of course I had to.